Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is September 23rd. It's the evening. I just got back from work and fall is definitely here. We're getting 45 degree nights now and the garden is starting to die out. I wanted to give you one last tour just to show you what's going on before I start pulling everything out. This is my container garden. Uh, there's an owl that really was not effective in keeping birds away. 40 pound bag of pelleted lime, which I recommend everybody get. It's only about four or five dollars a bag and you can use that to really control blossom end rot in your containers. I've got some peas that I started back in August so that I'll have some fall peas. And you can just see the different container plants. That's the Baggio pepper, the brown ones, and I think that is a poblano. So they're turning red and they're drying up a little bit. I'm going to save some of those for seeds. My kale did really well. Other peppers in there. Bush basil, some more peas, some lettuce that I'm growing back in here for winter garden. Uh, what is that? Giant jalapenos in the back. Here is a Tabasco pepper plant that I'll make Tabasco sauce out of and I'm going to do a video just on that container plant. So you can see in a five gallon container you can grow a nice Tabasco pepper plant. That was my, uh, that was a Mr. Stripey tomato that actually turned out not to be Mr. Stripey. I bought it from a store but it was a basket that I was experimenting with air pruning on and the basket worked really well. That's probably about, I don't know, 10 gallons in there. But the tomato itself got really huge. I picked lots of red tomatoes off of it, but it wasn't a Mr. Stripey, so, you know, a little disappointed in there. Some of the crops that I've gotten out of the garden so far, uh, as of today, another squash, zucchini, acorn squash, spaghetti squash. That zucchini came right out of a bush zucchini that I was growing in this container. And you can see the plant is kind of beat up. Every once in a while I hit it with neem oil, but ever since the end of August I really stopped caring for the plants. But I did get another zucchini plant off of there. As you come over here, you can see a lot of tomatoes that have germinated. These are not for planting, but this is actually for the seeds that I'm selling. So this is just one way that I'm showing that the seeds actually germinate. Over here is another container of peas and a little uh, fancy trellis that I bought for 10 bucks on sale at Big Lots. It was like 50% off, but it's a solar light, but I thought that'd be a great way to grow the solar peas, uh, to grow the peas um, for my fall crop. Some of my regular container plants that I use to attract bees and hummingbirds to the garden. As you come down further, it's my herb garden. You can see lots of stuff is really overgrown. As you come in here, you see my tomato plants are dying out. The kale has been doing great. Um, really doesn't have many holes in it. I have been spraying this with neem oil. More peppers in there, some winter squash, but things are generally starting to die out. Over here, I'm going to do a video probably right after this one. This is my cayenne pepper. I've grown, I've grown these in five gallon containers and you can see they're starting to dry out, but I'm just going to show you how I make my dried hot peppers for the winter. And basically, I let them turn red on the vine, start to dry out, and then I pick them and dry them out in the oven. Across the way, some onions that are drying, uh, scallop squash back there, other peppers. My apple tree really got me a lot of apples this year, well over 40 of them, and I keep eating them. And let's see, let's go down to this part of the garden. In here is a squash, and you can see one growing in there. That's gonna be left to grow until I can get some seed out of it. And you can see the powdery mildew on there this is actually uh, the stevia plant. So I'll be harvesting these leaves again and drying them and using them for a sweetener. But this plant did really well. Even though it's covered in powdery mildew, again, I stopped spraying a lot of stuff. It's produced all the way up to September 23rd. That's pretty good. And I'm still getting squash out of one plant. Here's my fall garden. I've got red cabbage, lettuce, and this is kohlrabi. Outer leaves have holes because I wasn't spraying them regularly with the neem oil. And then when I start spraying again, you can see these inner leaves are a little bit better. But that'll get hit one more time with neem oil. I want to keep that protected from the green looper worm. In here, more peas growing for the fall. Pepper plant. This is my um, sweet potato patch. We'll see what grows up in there, uh, actually grow in there in a little bit. Swiss chard. And pretty much the garden is starting to fade out. I do have more crops in here that I want to show you. 
These are tomato plants that I started growing for a second round of tomatoes. And I'm actually going to erect a greenhouse over this patch here. So this is going to be uh, covered in a greenhouse and I hope to get these tomatoes to uh, fruit for me. Radishes in there, some of the blue cups that I use for the kale plants back there. Some of the garden that's just dying out. And my fall radishes, I think they're doing pretty good. They're probably almost ready to be picked. You can see some good sized radishes in there. And then finally, all in here, these are going to be picked today. More green beans. This is my third picking of green beans out of the pole beans. And I really recommend, I did a video on this, that you just put in a couple of these posts. They're like two bucks each from Home Depot. They're eight foot poles. And put in three seeds around each. And this is just massive. I mean, these are delicious green beans. Here are my Brussels sprouts. That was the uh, white uh, moth that lays the green cabbage looper eggs. And there's Brussels sprouts on there. But these have been growing since way back in, <coughs> excuse me, May maybe? I mean, it's been almost 150 days. And I don't think the Brussels sprouts are to the size that I want, but it was sort of an experiment. These were really taken care of with neem oil, but again, I stopped spraying them. And you can see the damage that's coming from that moth that you just saw flying around. It lays eggs, the green uh, looper comes out, eats holes in it. But if you want to take care of your plants, Neem oil really does a good job against them. So this is a garden as of September 23rd. And it'll probably be the last tour that I do. Hope your garden went well this year. Thanks for watching this video. And please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.